So a lung biopsy is typically performed under the guidance of a CAT scan. Sometimes it can be done with ultrasound. A lung biopsy is where you take a small needle and you pass it through the CAT scan to watch the needle going in towards the nodule. Once the needle goes into the center of the nodule, they can take a sample of that. Sometimes they apply suction to the needle. Sometimes they'll pass what's called a needle core, which is where they have a hollow needle that cores out a tube of tissue and pulls that out so that they aren't just looking at cells, but they're actually looking at what we call the architecture of the tumor. The different types of biopsies that are performed can often give us enough tissue to even test for genetic mutations or alterations within the tumor to decide what's the best type of therapy for the patient. The biopsy often guides our therapy. Just last week I had a patient that was coming to me for surgery and we did a biopsy and we found out that he had small cell lung cancer. It's a very rare type of cancer, but had I not done that biopsy, I wouldn't have known what type of cancer he had, and I might have recommended surgery in a particular type of cancer that's hardly ever treated with surgery. So in some circumstances, a biopsy is an essential part of your treatment, but you don't always have to have a biopsy before you have surgery or treatment for lung cancer surgery.